In this video, let's talk about how we make a post onto the Google community. I'm going to go in from the context of session three into the content module. Let's see, session three. I'll scroll down to session three here, and I want to go to the Blog Buddies page. I'll click it there. Okay, so I'm in session three and I know that I want to first I'm just looking at the blog buddies instructions of course you know you want to visit the list one of blog buddies or whatever session you're in you want to just double check the instructions they're pretty much the same every session but that list of blog buddies could change it will change probably for sessions five and six for example um, but just double check it yeah, every semester is a little bit unique um, you know so you want to figure out who your blog buddy is and um, you can click on this and then you can uh, let's see if this let's pretend this is you then that means your blog buddy is this person so then you can go and click their blog uh, hopefully they've got some kind of blog archive like if if they gave you the you're gonna have the top level to their blog so you're gonna have to figure out um, which post was their most recent one for the session you're looking at, and that might take a little bit of figuring out. You can figure it out by topic, um, and probably approximately by date, although that won't be a perfect indicator, but you can, um, you know, use the blog archive to find previous blogs. So these little arrows, for example, this is a blogger blog, and you can look under 2014, there's one blog in January, and then you can click on that blog to get to it. To, to the blog post. You read the post. Um, you do want to be clicking on the actual post itself. So we are on the post. So notice how the address up here is not just the top address. It's not just the blog site address, which would just be the problem schools.blogspot.com, but it also c includes the date publishing info and the title. And this particular person did not put a title for this post. That would probably be preferable. But what Blogger did was it just took the first few words of the post and turned it into a title. So this is the post I would, this is the uh, the link you want to use when you're posting. Let's go look at one more example. Uh, let's say this is you. So this is your buddy. So let's go look at this blog and see what options we've got. Okay, we've got uh, two, two different options. So if you're coming and doing this in a fairly timely fashion and if you're hopefully your blog buddies fairly timely then you can probably assume that you want to get the most recent post um, and so you can use the blog archive and even the couple of WordPress blogs I've seen they should have blog archives as well they will probably work very similarly to this um, and you know you just use these little arrows to expand things and they they go in order so this is the first one from January this is the second one so you'd probably go to the second one um, Nothing's posted here at this moment, but once it is, um, you know, you would use this as the as the post. So, so this this was a post. This is a post technically, but um, let's just go back to this one. So the same same thing. If you're promoting this on Blog Buddies, you would copy this top. You copy this link, and you'd go over to the Google community. So that's the next thing I want to show you. What do we do once we have it? You've, you've read the post, you want to write a two sentence summary to promote it, and you want to include the link um, on the, the Google community as well. So let me go back to this, to the instructions, because I have a direct link to the Google community here. Okay, so what you do is you go to the Google community, and if you, that's one way to do it by, by using my direct link. The other way is to go to Google Plus then do the drop down from home and click communities and then the ones you're a member of should be at the top and then you can select it and that brings you to it as well and then here where you share what's new um, you know in this post Veronica excoriates both liberals and conservatives for their failure to address 
foundational issues. Sorry. Okay, that's just a first sentence. Uh, you know, and then I, I'm not going to type another sentence. Sentence number two. Um, and then I've got my two sentences. You can add a link here, paste it in, and then you can hit share. And there we've got your post. We've got the two sentences where you're promoting that person's post. It would be good to use their name, perhaps, and provide a, provide a link so that we can come, we can go check it out. So try to make that post, try to entice us a little bit. Try to find something interesting that they said in that post, perhaps, or give it a good summary. Um, you know, I'll leave it up to you guys how you want to do that. But because you don't want to be overly provocative to the point where it's not even representing the post. But at the same time, try to give it the best promotion you can in a couple of sentences and then give us the link. Um, do you remember that every post that you make does have a link? So this post that I just made has its own unique link that I can use for my own purposes. That comes in handy later in the semester when on, in your final portfolio there's a blog posts page you'll recall and I know I go over this elsewhere and so I'm, I'm done showing you how to um, I'm done showing you how to make a post in the blog so if that's all you came here for you can sign off but just as an additional reminder um, in the end of the semester you're going to submit your your wiki and that's your sort of a portfolio for the class of the things you've done on your blog posts page you're going to not only provide a link to each of your six blog posts, but in addition, you're going to provide a link to your, let's see, sessions two through six, so your five blog buddies, because you only had to do blog buddies for five sessions. You did six sessions of blog posts and five sessions of blog buddies. You're going to provide a link to each of those blog buddies' uh, promotional posts. So, for example, we'll look at this one. I had done this one earlier, um, the session two blog buddy promotion. All right, so I linked back to this particular post. Um, let me look at the other one I've got here, Session 3 Blog Buddy Promotion. So Kim C. Hewitt made this particular post here. So I was linking out to other Google Plus stuff that I've got, but it works the same way. Like, so if I wanted to promote this, or, or not promote it, but to just put it on my uh, portfolio, I go to back to the post, I click Link to Post, I copy that, I go to my portfolio, I type, say this is the session four, I'm giving it a nice descriptive title, I highlight that text because that's going to turn into a link in just a second, I hit link, I hit web address, I paste that link to the blog buddies post there, I click new window, I click add link, I click save, and so that's how you link back to your blog buddy stuff. Let me click it one more time. Session four, blog buddy promotion. See, there it is. Voila. Um, so that kind of brings you full circle to how this will come up later in the semester and that will be here before we know it. Um, let me know if you have any questions about how you make a post to the Google community. Do remember that it's okay if you're a little bit late on that. I don't, I'm not looking by that Sunday night at the end of that session if you have posted the blog buddies because technically your classmates do have till that Sunday night to put their blog up and so you might come in after the sessions done come check out what they wrote about a few days later and make your post try not to be too late on that though because then that creates a problem and a backlog and it sort of defeats the purpose alright let me know if you have any questions